Now to this, a disturbing case out of Riverside County tonight. A man is accused of kidnapping two women, then torturing them. Authorities say the crimes were discovered after the terrified woman escaped and the suspect lied about being burglarized. Let's get right out to KTLA 5 Shelby Nelson live from Moreno Valley, where the investigation is ongoing tonight. Hi, Shelby. Hi there. Yeah, really troubling. Gilberto Puga has been charged with assault with a stun gun, among some other charges that he's facing right now. He is a convicted felon, and those closest to him reportedly say that his past behavior did show warning signs. That's really scary. Even my 17-year-old son got scared. He said, Mom, I'm scared. A terrifying ordeal allegedly inside 53 year old Gilberto Puga's Moreno Valley home, and it's now shaking up one neighborhood. Based on a preliminary police report, authorities say Sunday morning Puga called 911, saying that two women were burglarizing his home. Moments later, another 911 call coming in with two women at his home screaming for help. When deputies arrived, they say they found the two women walking away. Investigators saying that both had been locked inside his home against their will and tortured. Puga left and was arrested the next day in Hemet. It didn't really surprise me because allegedly this guy has a lot of other priors. Many neighbors who recognize him say he's been terrorizing this neighborhood for at least a year. Eddie De Leon had a restraining order against him from an incident last February after he says Puga approached his then 18 year old daughter. Pulls up and blocks her in our, in our driveway. He comes and uh, starts telling her, oh, how pretty she was that, you know, because it was also Valentine's weekend. Um, if she didn't have a date that, you know, he'd love to take her out on a date. A day later, De Leon says his ring camera captured Puga in their front yard at 2.30 in the morning. We've blurred out his face as we await confirmation from authorities that this is in fact Puga. And De Leon isn't the only one with a restraining order. He would say that he was going to come and kill me. He was going to kill everyone in the house. He was going to get people to from L.A. to come and shoot my house. This family says their surveillance camera captured Puga on their property several times. He would break the side fence to try to get in, and um, he would let my dogs out and then say that they got out, so we would leave the house to go look for him, and he would try to sneak into the backyard. You just turn on me with that gun, mother you watch. I want to kill all you Sammy and Eli's mom tells us he jumped their fence last year. She called 911 but says Puga wasn't arrested. He was upset that we didn't want to be his friend, I think, because we weren't hanging out. I felt very weak and vulnerable, so my boys and I took self-defense classes and more cameras. And Puga is facing several charges, including two counts of assault with a stun gun, violating someone's personal liberty, unlawfully possessing a firearm, and for possessing paraphernalia. He pled not guilty to the charges in court yesterday. Now, according to that complaint, Puga is accused of locking the two women in his enclosed patio for more than 30 minutes and for using a stun gun on them several times. Now, back out here live, I did reach out to the Riverside County District Attorney to ask them why he has not been charged with torture or false imprisonment. They say that could change. Uh, throughout this investigation. Reporting live in Moreno Valley, I'm Shelby Nelson, KTLA 5 News. Shelby, thank you so much for this.